Hey guys, day 15 of math and our last Grapes of Math poem riddle. <clears throat> For the birds, before you have too big a clan, it's good to have a housing plan. Instead of building one big nest, lots of small ones may be best. How many eggs are in this patch? batch? Count them quick before they hatch. Here's a hint you can't ignore, adding fast with groups of four. So four, four, four. Four, four, four. One, or three, 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 five, five, five. Five, ten, fifteen, three, six, nine, four, eight, 12. 12 plus 15 is 27, plus 9 is 36. The Grapes of Math. All right, how fast is it? We did dragonflies. Now we're going to look at, oh, ooh, a sailfish in a ski do or a ski jet. <gasps> swordfish, marlin, and sailfish have long sword-like noses and they're known as billfish. The fastest fish in the ocean is the sailfish and it can swim 70 miles per hour. That's how fast our cars go out on the interstate. The big sail-shaped dorsal fin allows it to make sharp turns. Outboard motors have propellers. Jet skis have impellers. An impeller is like a jet engine. It sucks water in and blows it out the back. A sailfish and a jet ski cruise along at about the same speeds. The jet ski can zoom across the water as fast as 50 miles an hour. But traveling fast in the ocean or on a lake is dangerous. So slow down, please. All right. So... How are coins made? Here's an early mint. Pure metals are weighed and melted together to make the alloys needed to make coins. While still molten, the alloys can, are cast into ingots or bars. Machines roll the ingots out into sheets. Dimes, quarters, and dollars are made from these sheets of metal bonded together in a process called cladding. Blanks are the same diameter as the coins or punched from the sheet. Penny and nickel blanks are sent to the annealing room where they are softened, slightly cleaned, and polished. Then they are put through an edge rolling machine, which produces a raised rim. Finally, the designs on both sides of the coin are stamped out at the same time. The edges of dimes and dollars are milled in the final stamping process. The completed coins are loaded in machines that automatically count them and drop them into bags. The scaled bags are then weighed on a scale that are so sensitive they can count if even one coin is the wrong weight. The machine records that the coins are then put into collections to banks. Now the design of any coin must be kept for at least 25 years. That's our fun fact. Another fun fact. Nickels are made of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Pennies are made of bronze, which is 25% copper and 5% zinc. The outside of dimes, quarters, and dollars is 75% copper and 25% nickel. Their cores are pure copper. The ancient Romans made their bronze coins by pouring molten metal into molds. This method, called casting, was also used by Chinese and Japanese. However, most coins made before the invention of coining press were struck one by one using a special hammer. And this is the United States Mint in Philadelphia. So if you ever go visit Philadelphia or Denver, you can go visit the Mint. We worked at estimating a little bit. We looked at groups of 10 and a group of 100. So here is 100 dice and 100 dime and 100 beans and 100 jelly beans and 100 jacks. Oh, those are puff balls. What do you think? How many of each of those things? 
probably about 100 gummy bears and 100 puff balls and 100 acorns and a, probably 50 screws and 50 nuts, which would be a group of 100. About, about 100. So that's what 100 looks like. What about 1,000? 100 or 10 groups of 100 100 beans 100 beads 100 little beads strung together 10 times would be a thousand 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 now they compare these thousands to the hundreds find groups of 10 Two, can you count ten letters or ten paper clips? Can you cover a hundred beans with your hand? What about a hundred beads, paper clips, popcorn? hundred pieces of popcorn doesn't look very big before they're popped. But a hundred popcorns fills a nice size bowl. About... Is there anything in your house that you have about a thousand of? Probably have to look at the rice or the beans or the Cheerios. Book today is by the same man, uh, Stuart Murphy, who did Missing Mitten in the book I read yesterday. But Lois Ayler didn't do these pictures. This is Bernice Lum. Three little firefighters. And there's a Dalmatian dog. Dalmatian dogs are associated with fire trucks. So they put them in with the pictures. Three little firefighters. Here's our three firefighters. One, two, three. Puppy dog makes four. But we're not counting him as a firefighter. We are three little firefighters. Hurry, let's get dressed. The parade starts in an hour and we have to look our best. Oh, so it's not going to be a work day. It's going to be a parade day. We're missing all our buttons. We don't know what to do. Everyone will see our bellies and our belly buttons, too. We have to find some buttons, and the buttons have to match. Each coat will need four buttons. We couldn't have less than that. So each firefighter needs four buttons, and there's three of them. Four plus four is eight, plus another four is 12. They need 12 buttons. Oh, there are some buttons. Do any of them match? I see a couple squares, I see some circles, I see some triangles. But they're not all the same color and they're not all the same size. Would that be important with buttons? We found a bunch of buttons, but we've got to have four sets. Let's sort them out by shape and find out what we get. I found a set of circles. But two sets aren't complete. Our belly buttons will still show when we're out on the street. Oh, he's got the triangles. She's got the squares. But there's not enough. Clang, clang, clang. Ink spot, we have a problem. There is no time to play. We've got to get our boots on and find buttons right away. Oh, I guess the puppy's name is Ink Spot. He does look like he's covered with ink, doesn't he? We've got to get hurry. We have to find three sets. Or pairs. We talked about pairs of socks. Well, you need a pair of boots, too. Oh, hey, more buttons. That's a good thing. Let's sort them out by color and find out what we get. Black, 
orange, green. We both have matching buttons, but I'm afraid my belly button will still show when we're in the parade. Ink spot, don't be silly. We are not finished yet. Puppy wants to get going. Let's sort the buttons out by size and find out what we get. Big buttons, medium sized buttons, Small buttons. Now we each have four buttons, large, medium, and small. And at last, our belly buttons won't be seen at all. Woof, woof, woof. Ink spot, no more barking now that everything is fine. We'll just sew on our buttons. Wait. I'm missing one of mine. It popped off. Hey, that reminds me of the Pete the Cat book where he's got his buttons, his four, his four groovy buttons, and he keeps subtracting one, and then he still has his belly button. Find it. Let's look everywhere. Turn this place upside down. Check under the fire truck. Look what Ink Spot has found. Clang, clang. Woo, woo. Woof, woof. Now every button is sewn on. We're ready on the dot. We are three little firefighters with our dog, Ink Spot. Good job counting and sorting. Sometimes those sizes and shapes are important. <laughs> 